He says, hello K, I have a question please. Why are you not using Ichimoku long flat lines Kijunsen Senko Span B as support resistance levels? Should I stop using them that way? You can do that too. You can use it as support resistances. So in this case, you know, Kijunsen flat. So Kijunsen can be support. If Kijunsen remains flat like this and the market retrace back to Kijunsen, then it, it sometimes works as a support and you can buy there too. That's possible. Or if the market comes down to Senko Span A or Senko Span B, and if you see the bounce, you can buy there too. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Yeah, but for me, this is just my preference. But for me, I am a trend follower and I prefer to follow the major trend direction. And simply that's why I don't use this strategy. I mean, I do use the way how I use this is, for example, if I see this in the monthly chart, if I see the monthly chart is resisted, supported by the Senko Span a B, A, or Kijun Sen, then you see the up. So, so, for example, the uptrend happens on the monthly, and daily time frame may be bullish. A whole hour chart might be bullish when I when I see the monthly bounce, and then I take that trade. I take that, but um, I don't take that trade in one single time frame. I prefer to confirm the lower time frames and get exact entry timings. Is my strategy. So that's the situation. But uh, yeah, it does work. Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, also Senko Span A, B, uh, do work as support resistances. In the past, in the future, like here too, you see exactly uh, market bounced on the Senko Span A and went up here too, Senko Span A and went up. So you can take this also. Or you, you can see that there was a um, Kijun Sen bounce here too. So you can do that too. It's possible. So in this case, since this is a daily time frame, for me, right, for me, I prefer to, if I take the buy here on this Kijun Sen bounce, if I notice a Kijun Sen bounce on the daily time frame, and most likely I will be here or here, and I should be seeing the four hour time frame will be up, or one hour time frame will be up. And then I follow that direction until it ends. So most likely it ended here or here, and these will be my exit timings. Yeah, so that's a plan. So but I do use the bounce in this in this way. But just because it bounces, I don't trade. I always check the lower time situations and get exact buying edge. But that's a good question. That's a good question. Thank you so much for your uh, comment. Thank you for watching the video until the end. And before ending this video, I would like to add one more thing that is important in psychology. And this is my favorite. And the proverb is never try to get a head and tail the fish and only get the body part of the fish because that's where the juice is. And what this really means is that sometimes you may try to capture the pips from the beginning until the end of the trend. And but you have to remember that that is impossible to get all the pips from the beginning until the end. You can only get the body part because that's where the juice is. And that's why whenever you see trends, you better think where is the head and where is the tail of the big fish of the trend and only try to get the body part. So that means uh, you can, after you confirm the trend happening, you enter the market, but that will be too early. You have to confirm the trend, continuous trend, uptrend or downtrend, but never try to get the beginning of the trends. Also, whenever the market goes flat and sideways after the big trends, you never exit just because the market retraces. That retracement might still be a temporary 
and the market may go up continuously. But sometimes the market goes backwards heavy and maybe reverse end wave, maybe some kind of reverse confirmations and the market start to go down continuously. Then you exit there with some profit. So never try to get the head and tail of the fish is actually that is very important. And my strategy is built in this way. So hopefully you stick to this idea and become a successful trend follower. So until I see you on the next one, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you.